Pete's a good man. It could have been better. I'm, I'm, I'm proud to work with him and honored that he'll have me. Even though I'm ever more out. <laughs> I'm more down tired. But you know what? That's a good feeling. That's a good feeling. Thank you, Pete. Thank you for giving me a job, paying me money. Giving me the appropriate time to heal, not burn out. Thank you, Pete. Thank you very much for being my friend and my boss. Best boss you could ever have. Shade Tree, property maintenance. Practice. 
and then we got a little party we're gonna throw for afterwards. But you know, there's no party out there. Yeah. Well, oh thanks. Thank you. you handed that to me. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. There's no party out there without. Oh, we can't show the name. I get sued for that. But we all know what it is. The Devil Brand. So you take a shot with me, lady. I love you. Love is when you share it with everyone else. That's when you know you're in love. Or if you see two people in love, you don't take that shit from them. You join in and have a good time. You first. You are so stoned. Mm -hmm. huh. mm -hmm. And you're beautiful. That's <laughs> birthday. <laughs> that Happy birthday, Tess. Happy Thank birthday, you. Tess. Happy birthday, Happy Tess. Birthday. We got something coming for you here in a little bit, though. Happy birthday. Thank you. Last in line. <laughs> You're making smack in YouTube. Smacking on YouTube? Oh, no, no smacking on YouTube. Hmm. This is the way Vikings eat. There's the cook. It's not that tough. That's aggressive, damn. My chicken is not that tough. It's not tough. I'm tough now. But he's just yeah. uh, taking Viking bites. Are you gumming it to death? Mm. Don't girl? take much gumming to do it. Who <laughs> 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 said that? <laughs> That's what she wants the most. Smile test. There you go, baby. There <laughs> she is. Severe, and there is a lot of lightning. If you don't have to be out. This morning, I know a lot of people are going to be heading to church. Just get there safely. Don't spend too much time outside. Get to your car quick and then get inside quickly, too. So let's take a closer look, kind of starting from the top and working our way down to the south. We've been tracking this line that's been making its way through our Kansas counties earlier. This is where we had the strongest of the winds uh, as, it, as it pushed through uh, Chautauqua County, now making its way out of Montgomery County. But we are still dealing with that severe thunderstorm warning right over the Coffeyville area. Uh, and that's going to quickly be moving out of the area. But as we take a look down to the south for Tulsa, we've been dealing with these thunderstorms at least for the last 30, 45 minutes, and it's just continuing. It's not letting up just yet. There's a lot of lightning, and this has a problem. 
So yeah, it's, a, it's pretty much been the last couple of weeks. It's been a storm after storm after storm. It's hard to work in this, and so uh, it takes that takes you out of you. So when it does shine, you get dry it for a half second. Uh, uh, you get out there and you, you get dirty, you get wet, and, and then or you get you know make your money, but it, it stopped us from making money more or less. Get two of these. One goes that way, one goes this way. You take that one. <coughs> Kid. Kid. Let's Get come both. over here. Get both. Stick one to me, too. Get both. I need you. <laughs> okay. All right. Here, Chris. What the fuck is going on? Why are we going across here? What? Hey! Hey, Chris. Roll over again. <coughs> I can't see you now. At all. If you got the dog company, it's a leg humper right there. Don't tell him. That one's kind of fruity tasting. This is, um, look, is this California? Or are we, I don't have. It is fruity tasting. <coughs> All right. There we go. Does it sound okay? Wait now. You've been clean for a while. You've been living right. You've been living good. You've been living for God. And then all of a sudden one day, life gets boring. And you need to remind yourself where you come from. And so you find these little things called those damn devils that come crawling back into your life. That's what the song is called, those damn devils. Two, three.
all out there? We're about to go pick up a friend of ours. We call her Strawberry. She's been through hell and back. She's still got a good heart, man. She's still a good person, man. And uh, we, we'll be proud to introduce her. Uh, other than that, man, it's late at night. It's just us and the fucking spooky cops. Uh, <laughs> We've been talking about you. Oh, hi. That's Strawberry. I gotta get back in there. All right, go get good gas. So when do we need to be back here? Just, I don't know, like Taco Bell's down here, dollar menu, whatever. No, when do we need to just go get that? You're spooky and spooky too. Hey. I love you. I love you. Love is strange. Yes, it is. But it's digging us. It sure is. It's digging us. Love is digging us. Love is strange, though. Mm -hmm. Love is love strange for you? We find it enticing, intense at times. Fuck, straight. That's my word. I made it up. It's a good place to be. Yeah. It's a good place to be. In love, always loving, caring. And every now and then we get hateful. Why? Is it because we're around each other too much, or is it because uh, we don't have enough space, or, or we just everyone needs a break every now and then? And alone time, alone time is what helps us identify with the things that we say to each other constantly. It gives us time to what? Think. Think. Always give your partner time to think. Never control them. If you have jealousy or envy in your relationship, I'm here to tell you, it's not love. If you feel like you own the person you're with, that's 
That's not cool. Not cool. Not Love cool. owns us. Yeah. And not always are we correct or right, but we experience those things together and we find a way, what? Through it. Exactly. Not around it, not over it, not below it, but through it. Our love is like a bulldozer. It smashes and fucking tears everything that wants to stop us from being in love out of the way. Yes, it does. All the selfish things. You learn to not be so selfish, huh? Yeah. We learn to share each other with other people. Why? Because it kills the envy and the jealousy. Either you man and woman up or you fucking, well, be crushed by your uh, insecurities. Yeah. I love you, Jess. I love you too, sweetheart. We love you guys. If no one's told you today that they love you, well, Chuck and Tess love you, man. Yes, we do. And uh, we're about to get our tacos at Taco Bell. Or should I say, Taco Hell. Sometimes you gotta fill up. You like to go to a quick trip to Hawaii? They got everything. If you live in a state where they don't have a quick trip, your life sucks. I didn't mean that. Well, maybe I did. Live in Tulsa, smoke a hummer, a slut, smoke a hummer. Tulsa backwards is a slut. We live in smoke a hummer. Anyways, uh, life is good. There they come. Just got off work and can't take our apron off. Strawberry, right here. That's way out there. Not too bad. Hi. Huh. Hello. Hello. So friendship. Uh, what do you think about friendship? What does it mean to you? Very important. What's the most important thing in a friendship to you? One, one thing. Honesty. Honesty. How about you, Tess? Um, loyalty. Loyalty. Two biggest things as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, and, then, and well, from those two things, you should gain the third thing, trust. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Which is probably the hardest thing in every relationship you ever have with anyone, is finding trust. And mine's always been broken. Becca back always said uh, she's just a bad guy because she she couldn't trust anyone. That's what her song That's said. Her song said, yeah. yeah. And, uh, she's been hurt a lot. Uh, we all have. and uh, But we find... Every now and then, there's someone that comes along and we speak a little truth. And uh, our or friendship. Or they do what they say. They do what they say, what they mean. Do what they say they're going to do. Their, their words fit their actions. Thank you for being one of those people. You're welcome. Yeah. And uh, we've had a great time and we always, we always, it just gets better and better. See, I got chills. Damn, look at that. <laughs> my hair actually growing on my arm, so. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a great time last night and, and uh, we, uh, had a pillow fight. Oh, I felt gay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, anyways, uh, we had a good time, man. And so y'all met Strawberry, uh, and uh, and you don't need to know her real name. Quit asking. I, I can already see some of you out there. Fuck you. Did I say that? And if you are wondering, it ain't none of your business if you don't already know. There you right. go. There you go. Yeah. Dog That's business. Oklahoma sass right there. Uh, man, we'll see you. Ginger. Uh, ginger. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. There you go. Ginger's uh, The Irish bitch. Anyways. Uh, gotta go back to work. Here's the friendship. And, hey, yeah, now she's gotta go back to work. Friendship. First grade time, man. From the thorn box. I was going to Torchy's for a while because I lived across the street from it. He headlined a show there. It was one of the first shows they had had there in a while. 
and I was like, and first I was like, oh, I wonder, wonder, wonder if this guy's any good, but I was there <laughs> to see some of the other bands that he had uh, hooked up to play there to open for him. So I was mainly there for those guys, and then I get to see him, you know, to headline it and, and finish the, sh the set, and he had theatrics, he had, and I'm, I'm drawn to heavy acoustic rock and roll, because not a whole lot of people think you can take acoustic instruments and make it heavy, and he did, and his band, like, they really rocked it, and it really stuck out to me, and you kind of don't forget a person like this <laughs> when you see him on stage, and so, uh, I had actually seen him before, but I didn't know really who he was. I saw him at a uh, open mic that we had both performed. Although I we I left before he before he played. It was at the Gypsy downtown Tulsa, and uh, there was another time I think I saw him because some another band who was performing at Torchies they wanted him to play a couple of songs just between acts or whatever. So that's how I found out about him, and then so. As a songwriter myself, up and coming, I started uh, talking to him about these kinds of things, about playing and how we write, and I was really drawn to his uh, to his songwriting style and his use of theatrics for performing live. His lyrics come from a very personal place, and he's not afraid to really explain and and really get down and dirty with how he feels or what he's experienced and another thing that I find really interesting is how he won't admit, he won't just gloss over something that he's done wrong if he's done wrong he says so in his lyrics he admits it he, he's very he, he's uh, we have something in common where we're both extremely honest about ourselves to a fault. So that really comes out in the lyrics and that kind of sticks with me. Um, when I first started hearing his recordings, I was listening to them practically nonstop. Um, to where some of the stuff that he'd written about about his own life had impacted some of the stuff that I'd written in the stories that I've that I've written myself because I write some fiction as well. And so, so yeah, just his uh, taste in music and his uh, just his his style as a songwriter, you know, has really has really left an impression. Chuck Cooley is one of the most colorful characters I've ever met. He's very passionate about what he does and who he does it for. He's very passionate about his fans. He's very passionate about the people who come to shows, and. There's so many things I want to say, I'm sort of, kind of, just kind of scattered. Um, Joe Cooley is the type of person who's got a lot of stories to tell. He's been around so many places and he's experienced so many things. And, and again, going back to his songwriting style, he's also a storyteller because he's got so many stories to tell. So... Yeah, so what I would like for people to know, whoever come out this direction or ever get to see him play live, one thing I would love to, I'd love to remind people, because I have done this, I have talked to people about this before who've never heard of this guy, it's like, well, you're, you're in for, you're in for a ride, for quite a ride, because he's been through a lot and he's gonna, gonna take you on a little field trip, <laughs> or three, or four, or five, and, and not only does he explain these experiences in the songs, but he will also, between songs, tell you the stories that impact, that drove him to write those songs when he wrote them. Mm -hmm. So, and that's, and that just makes the, that just makes the, uh, the stage experience so much more alive because it really was. These are things that actually happened, mm -hmm. and you can, you can tell by his passion. And, I've, and you can talk to friends of his if any, if you think that he's. Oh, maybe he's stretching something. Oh, you know he's not. He's got a lot of friends that back this stuff up. A lot of all this stuff happened. So, it, it's he's just a really, really out there guy. And there are a few entertainers I found in Tulsa who can do what he does mm -hmm. and inspire people like he does. I don't know yet. Best friend right there. I see him. His name's Freddie Helm. Handyman. Do what? 
Freddie Helm the handyman. <laughs> Mr. Fix it. What? It broke, I'll fix. It's it's Chuck and Tess. That's just Chuck. Oh, it's just Chuck. Yeah, that's uh, so I'm 50 years young, man. Yeah, we're still changing your diaper. Oh my god, they really yeah. So you been? I've been just, just getting by, trying to get by, and just trying to keep your head above water. It's a struggle. That's all I that's all I that's all I just knew, really. I used to think my head was above water and then I realized that I learned how to swim underwater. <laughs> <laughs> or drown underwater, yeah. yeah. You didn't come off a man, did you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Damn it a good still though. Hey, by the way, this is Freddy. Yeah. Best friend. Right. Best friend. Yeah. He can kick me to curving lane every once and I come back. <laughs> uh, I work for Shade Tree probably uh, maintenance. Maintenance. Yeah. We do a lot of big estates. And, uh, and it's a job, man. I get that. First job I really had in probably about 15 years. <laughs> Maybe 20. Or, yeah, I was going to say. 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, it's, man, it's terrible. I'm doing this for Man, dude. Yeah, I, 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 all over me, dude. Uh, it might be just nerves, hurt, huh? Nerves? You've been nervous? No, no, no stress. No. The turgid, though. I, 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 that, I loaded dude. all the shit. Is that just where your clothes are sitting? Well, it's, I was sweating really bad, and I put, you know, and I, I did. I packed those clothes in there, and I think they didn't get washed wash the detergent completely out. Yeah. Or just all sit in one spot? Yeah. Because it, 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 it burns and it itches like my mother I've been about two days now. Yeah. You can do that, dude. Shit. Yeah. 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 What words of wisdom? Words of wisdom? Don't shit in your own backyard. Always piss into the wind. Because you gotta have a shower sometime or another. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's pretty fucked up, you know. But hey, there's, it seems like there's a lot of people out there that have to do that. Shit. Shit pissing, using a pissing piss for shower? Yeah. Well, you just take a cheap trying to get a shower because they ain't got no shower to go to. I like going to the shower. I didn't say that. Oh, man. Mm. Yeah, cross the line. No, 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 no. No, no, Maybe. no lines. I, I, I didn't see lines. <laughs> uh, oh, for them out there, though. Hey. I got, I got one person told me, I said, fuck way too much, and that makes me not Southern. So that made me New York or Yankee? A wanker? A wanker. A wanky? A wanker. Oh, man. Yeah. Favorite wanky. I met some very interesting people, uh, women over the last uh, week and a half, dude. Or two weeks. Very, very, uh, since Becca died, all these other new women, these new women came in. And, and Carly, a lot of them are soulless, and they made it, you know. And there's some that are, that are soul surgeon, and that's rare. And then there's some that are just like, wow, don't don't find your soul, you're cool the way you are. <laughs> yeah. it, don't, it don't matter, Dude, everybody's always soul surgeon. They're either trying to find themselves or find that mate. Yeah, and that, you yeah, gotta find your soul with a mate. You gotta, you gotta find that first, man. That's my advice. And then, then you're, what sucks is when you do get with somebody, you'll, you'll, uh, what is it? You change you, yourself to fit the fifth mold. Yeah, or you allow them to uh, break your standards, uh, just to, to maybe because you're desperate. You know, I, mean, I, I gotta be loved. I don't, man. I, I just gotta love myself. You know, that's, and the main, I, that's the main thing. And I, I, that's all I want to do. But people demand me to love them, man. And I find myself giving more love to them, and, and then not even. Recognize that, or, you know, or, it's okay. I, I, I'm not trying to look for anything back. Thank you. Your, your like soul the, peace, though. Huh? When you're always giving a piece of yourself, you're giving your soul peace. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Because you know a little bit of you is out there. That's right. Yeah. The words of wisdom is always there. So, if no one's told you today, they love you. We love you. We love love. Don't ask why, because we can. <laughs> hey, man. Chuck here. Here's what we're doing today. Potatoes. That's right. I'm cooking dinner for Tess tonight. A couple steaks I got. Potatoes. Yeah, I can cook. I know how. I worked at... Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> American Italian restaurant. For about a year and a half. Italian food. 
from scratch. Noodles and all, made them all. And also a full moon. Anybody in Tulsa area knows that? Full moon was a launching pad for a lot of bands, but also for great, great grilled meat and cooked up. I worked my way from the, uh, the, from the dishwasher all the way up to head cook there. Only real job I've ever really had since I've been out of prison since 1993. I've had a few here and there between, but mostly music and tattooing and, and art and doing what I do. Am I rich? No, I'm not. Never really planned on being rich either. I felt like if I was going to sing music or do music, it needed to be truthful, not fantasy. So everything I sing about or sing about is pretty from my life or from watching someone else go through their shit. Back to dinner, though. Is there going to be candlelight? Maybe. Is there going to be soft music? Yeah, probably. And, uh, will they be kissing? Of course. Afterwards. With the men. Steaks, potatoes, corn, good old southern meal right there for you. Or American meal, let's put it that way. So, what is my point? Love the one you're with. If you have someone today, love them. Don't hate. No anger, come on, man, it's too easy. Be tough. It's thicker skin. Be better today. It's the only day you got. You never know if tomorrow may come. Today, I'm going to love the one I'm with. Straight out to you. Yeah. Thank you. So